Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to our introduction to LifeWave and X39. I'm Jana Kiefer, Senior Presidential Director. Oh, where did my video go? Sorry. It just bumped off. So welcome, and my name is Jana Kiefer. I'm a Senior Presidential Director with LifeWave and your host for tonight. And we're very, very excited to share with you a very historic breakthrough technology in affordable wellness. It's enhancing lives all around the world. And tonight we have our guest expert, Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard, MD. But before we get started with Dr. Hubbard, let me ask a couple short, really important questions that someone asked me a while ago. If you could have a magic wand and you're gonna wave it around, what's one thing you'd like to see changed or enhanced in your health or the health of someone you love and care for? Since most of us are very caring and we hate to see people in pain or suffering, right? So what's that one thing you'd love to see changed? And we all know health is truly our wealth. So what difference would that make in your life or in their life if it could, it could be remedied or eliminated? And then third, the one I really love, is what if there was a way to turn back the clock, the whole biological clock on aging so you could experience enhanced energy and health and vitality as if we were back in our mid 20s or 30s or even you know decades younger, don't wanna to go too far back. But when I first heard that, I thought, yeah, really, right? And boy, have I found out what an extraordinary technology we have here and I'm always excited to share it with you. So tonight we're going to introduce you to LifeWave's patented and unique X39 stem cell light therapy patch, along with proper nutrition, and it's providing so many wonderful health benefits. It's supporting he healthy stem cell activity. Well, why? Why do you want to know about that? Well, did you know that when we're born, we have over a billion stem cells. You know, think of it as kids. We're running, jumping out of trees. We recover really fast. We sleep like a log. However, sadly, by about age 35, mid-30s, we've lost about 50 to 60% of those stem cells. And by age 60, that stem cell levels decrease by almost 90%. So if you're as old as me, I'm in the category called Kaputsky. So that's why we don't heal as fast and why we're not recovering from illness and injury and even strenuous exercise, your energy is just dropping. Well, what if there was really an affordable and natural way to enhance and support that renewed stem cell activity? Would you want to know about it? Well, I sure did. And we're here to share it tonight. So I've got probably on um, a patch. This is X39's non-transdermal wearable patch. It's about the size of a quarter. It's safe, it's affordable, it's effective. And LifeWave is a leading edge technology, health sciences, research and development company. It was founded in 2004. Our CEO, David Schmidt, is a very renowned scientist and inventor. He holds over 130 patents. And to demonstrate the safety and efficacy of this technology, photobiomodulation, the company has conducted over 80 independent clinical studies on its breakthrough light energy products, which I love. And if you're a science geek like me, I love really reading the science. However, with that said, and before I introduce our guest, tonight I wanna to remind everyone that our products are not designed to diagnose or treat or heal or cure any disease. We're over on the wellness side of getting back to health and vitality. There are, however, designed to support and enhance sort of that miracle of the human body with proper support and the ability to heal itself because our body does know what to do given the right ingredients. So now I'd like to introduce you to our special guest for the evening, Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard, MD, as he shares the science of our amazing products and how they could benefit you, how you may want to start patching every day. Then we're going to actually hear from a lot of folks on the call tonight. They're going to share their stories about before X39 and what happened for them. And if you're like me, I love those miracle stories. So Dr. Jeffrey Hubbard is a medical doctor. He's a researcher and he's an entrepreneur. He's been on a quest to really enlighten people about the long-term effects 
of poor diet and stress and unhealthy lifestyle, which most of us unfortunately really are dealing with, right? Dr. Hubbard holds a BA in biological sciences. He also has a master's degree in molecular biology, and he's a doctor of medicine from the Southern Illinois University School of Medicine. Also, he served as a research fellow at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston with an emphasis on cardiopulmonary studies. So he's very well versed across a lot of disciplines. He's also the founder and CEO of Comedicare, and his passion is really the prevention of disease through wellness strategies, wellness products, going after those chronic illnesses. So he's just got a wealth of knowledge. So we're excited to have him here tonight. Over the last three years, Dr. Hubbard's been using LifeWave patches. He's helped hundreds of patients improve their sleep, get their energy back, increase wound healing, increase performance. And even on a personal level, Dr. Hubbard has helped a number of our own Live Younger members through his practice in the Dallas, Texas area. He combines his expertise in both the medical diagnosis and the photobiomodulation treatment with the patches. So please help me welcome Dr. Hubbard. We're so excited you're with us tonight, Dr. Hubbard. So go ahead and open your camera. And raise your hand if you're there, Dr. Jeff. I'm not seeing you and I'm uh, to promote you to panelist. So if you are there, Dr. Jeff, please raise your hand and I'll be able to locate you uh, along with the 136 other people that are online with us tonight. <laughs> Yes, Dr. Jeff, because we'd really probably want to hear from you <laughs> more <Yeah>. than me. <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't see him yet. <laughs> and let me just throw this out. If there's any other uh, of our practitioners on that would like to pinch it in Dr. Jeff's absence <laughs> with Janet, Please raise your hand because I'm not seeing Dr. Jeff on and I'm not seeing him raise his hand. So I know there's a few other doctors and health practitioners on that. Uh, Dr. I believe Dr. Tom is on. Okay, Dr. Tom just raised his hand. So allow, hold on just a second, Dr. Tom. Promote the panelist. Okay, and we're going to make you a co-host. So here we go, Dr. Tom. Thanks for jumping in. <laughs> sure thing. Well, hey. and Jeff might have some trouble signing in. I don't know why, but there was a little glitch and clicking on Live Younger Zoom didn't necessarily, it didn't bring me in. So I did Live Younger Chat. That didn't bring me in. And I did oh Ascari Zoom and that didn't bring me in. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there, there might be a little something going on with Zoom. Okay. Well, uh, Janet did a great introduction to Dr. Jeff, but she doesn't have one prepared for you. So Dr. Tom, would you like to just share a little bit about yourself and then Janet and you, and then I'll bow back out and <laughs> let you guys have some fun together tonight. Sure thing. Well, it's good to see you. Um, I practiced at Georgetown for 20 years as a, as a, a an old school neurologist, nuts and bolts neurologist, telling people how they were going to get worse. I was an MS specialist. Uh, I let them know when they would be using a walker, and I thought that was responsible medicine to tell them when they were going to be in a wheelchair, et cetera. And uh, the universe had different plans about uh, 17 years, 18 years ago now. Um, bought a yoga studio in the D.C. metro with a buddy of mine as a business deal, which turned into more, two more. The, the local paper ran a headline that said, Doctor and Lawyer by Great Falls Yoga Institute, and everybody in the D.C. metro who wanted to sell their studio was calling us. So that turned into me being a yoga teacher uh, and learning energy medicine and frequency medicine. And I throw that, that, that part of the story in because I was doing chakra balancing and sound work and learning about all of these different, you know, bathe in the proper frequencies conversations and real people doing real healing. Uh, and we don't say that we can treat, heal or prevent anything. But we, uh, but I can tell you that I do that in my in my other career as a functional medicine doc and as a foodist medicine doc, and so I do foodist medicine. I rebuild um, the community of bacteria and virus and critters in the gut and everywhere else in the body for that matter too, 
which is called the microbiome. Micro, small, biota is life. And those bugs are important, you know, just like we as a community are all, we all have a vibe and we all have some sort of an emergent phenomenon of a deliverable. Those bacteria do that. So gut brain integrity uh, creates, uh, I just happen to be interested in that organ the most, right? But gut health equals metabolic flexibility and equals putting the body in a place where it uses fat as a fuel source and is a competent translator of the resonant frequencies of life. And so, so Dr. Tom, if I can just um, ask you a couple quick questions, because I'm so excited. I've never been able to interview you. And I feel like this is just a treat that happened. I've never been able to interview you either. I want to. <laughs> it's great. You're really excited. Look around. But um, realizing that you had transferred over to functional medicine and then on to Buddhist medicine is really exciting. But let's back up a little because we have a lot of new people here tonight who may not quite understand all that. So how did you learn about LifeWave and what got you excited about the products? Somebody else who was excited. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine who I'd known for 15 years uh, and we'd worked together. Ann Morrow is a, one of our practitioners. And she's a she's a wonderful practitioner up in Maine, and she's a very good friend. And it was the first year of COVID. I'm still a babe at this. This is four years in, and uh, if it hadn't been her, I would not have said yes. But it was pro it was perfect timing, and it was a, a beautiful synergy. These technologies uh, work for people at all ends of the health spectrum. They we, we help quite a few people who are not feeling well, right? Whose docs tell them they're never going to be better. Yeah. They get traction, uh, beautiful, beautiful stories. And we also uh, get traction with people who thought they were in pretty good shape. And that was my story. I was, I had a great athletic life. Uh, I'd been taking good care of myself and recovering from my mid forties doc uh, guy who was obese and gray and miserable, right? And then over the next 10, 15 years, I got younger and stronger. And then boom, here come these technologies. I, I slap an X39 on and almost immediately um, stronger and more athletic in my yoga work, uh, more interested in things. You know, again, at a time on this globe that it was very easy to go, go hide, you know, hide in the corner. And I found myself very engaged, leaning forward into, okay, what's next? And I think that's one of the things we give people that I love so much is we have we part of what x39 does is mental clarity <clears throat> and that's not just thinking it's are you aligned with your purpose and are you enthusiastic about your life are, are you are you ready to go forward so i think we're going to hear some stories tonight of people who you know found a brand new light bulb in that world at a time that ironically the rest of the planet was un unfortunately hidden from a lot of the light well, I love that you shared, you know, your transformation from maybe, in a sense, an older, sicker doctor that then now over the years has come back and age reversed. And, but also that higher sense, you're right, of really having energy, but also hope. And I think that in this day and age, so many people seem to be struggling with anxiety and depression and not hope. So for you to come and now use them in your practice. Could you tell us a little bit of how you do use them in your practice and how you introduce them to people? Well, the first order of business is to see if they're done suffering, if they're, if they'd like to stop declining the way the doc told them they would. Uh -huh. Right. And you bring them, bring them to a call like this, bring them into community where they hear one of our practitioners and a couple of success stories. Um, that's it's such a gift you know again part of the pathology currently is being lonely so oh, point well you know a lot of my work is yes it's nuts and bolts biochemistry and food is medicine and i always see say eat happy things or eat happy eat things that ate happy things right if you eat animals eat happy animals um those energies are important and contagious and so it's uh it's important to be in conversation and work very closely with the person who knows more than you do, a little bit more than you do, uh, not medically or intellectually, but has a little 
has a little understanding of these technologies. And so I stayed very close to the, to the team and still do. Uh, and I learn every day and I am amazed by the stories that come along. A lot of what I do practically is I let people know that putting these technologies on confers an immediate competence to that thing. So we, you know, with X39, we upregulate a copper peptide called GHK copper. Science has been chasing uh, upregulating GHK copper dynamics for half a century or more. All you have to do is just look up GHK copper peptide. You'll find thousands of studies and success stories for how for people who who have actually used copper. Uh, and you can and you can do that. It's incredibly expensive, and it's and it disappears from the body quite quickly if you use it intravenously. You can't take a tablet or anything. So you slap on these technologies; they work immediately. It doesn't take off the table the need to make the lifestyle changes. And that's another reason to be in community. We have a lot of different kinds of practitioners and you don't have to have letters behind your name to be a practitioner. We've got very wise people who have been helping people in so many different ways, right? And who who can help you tweak your habits. And Thank so, you. And so cornerstone if you've got a new person, you're introducing them and we have people tonight on the call. We may even have new practitioners on the call. How do you recommend how long they wear them? Um, what should should they rest? Should they drink water? How how is it a new experience for people? What do you recommend? Yeah, well, again, stay very close, right? I like to tell people we'll hold your hand along the way. So especially the first few days, it's important to stay in communication. And all of the technologies are twelve hours on, twelve hours off. They work immediately if they're within three inches of the body. Uh, if you have skin sensitivity and you don't actually want to put the patch on your body, you don't need to put it on your shirt, put it in your pocket. Uh, we have suggested placements. And when you open up the booklets, uh, the patch placement booklets, um, you'll see what we're clinic, what we're allowed to say legally. So those placements are where we've done the clinical trials and where we've proven that the technology works. Um, but so everybody knows it is a total body activation and it's, but it's in, it's bioindividual too. It's personalized, and everybody has a different experience. So it's I like to uh, rotate uh, the different patch placements. X thirty nine is worn right below C seven on the back of the neck, or right below the belly button, or like I said, in your pocket if you don't like it there. Um, but people experiment, journal, uh, keep track, keep in close contact with the person that shared it with you. Stay very well hydrated. Well hydrated means half your body weight in ounces of water. And uh, somebody pointed out on our call last night, I thought it was brilliant that if you don't like drinking water and a lot of people don't until they actually are a little bit healthier, right? Because their body's got that, uh, got that momentum. Uh, but eating good food comes along with a certain hydration capacity, right? So eat yummy food that's got its own water that hasn't been off the planet, you know, hasn't been off its vine very long. Right. And I love your comment about eat happy food. That's great. Mm -hmm. Well, a question, thank you for that. And people getting started, you have those nuts and bolts questions like, can you swim and shower with them? Do they stick? All those kinds of things, you know, but um, you've patched many, many people. And maybe you might want to share some of the results of some experiences of X39 with your patients. Sure. I was approached by a wonderful lady who's a nurse who was a pretty who was married to a pretty famous doctor in Johannesburg uh, years back. And he's since he's since passed, but uh, she was looking for help for her daughter with a condition that everybody knows is an autoimmune condition. Uh, with lesions on the face and you lose your hair. And um, she was one of my favorite stories. And we started using X39 with her and we were able to taper her off her meds um, quite quite a bit more quickly than I'm used to. Uh, and today, four years later, she, her face is almost clear. The lesions are disappearing. Wow. Uh, that's been one of my favorites. And watching myself uh, disappear my partic my my lesions. I had a lot of scars uh, over the years because I've broken a lot of things because I was a triathlete in my twenties and thirties. 
Uh, so I've broken almost everything once or twice. And uh, after about a year, the long game is so important. After about a year of X39 for me, where I saw bettered sleep and I saw my athletic activity strengthen, as I mentioned, I started to see those scars disappear. And not the least of which was I had an uh, aortic valve replaced years back and I had an open heart surgery scar and my everybody knows what that zipper scar looks like. That yeah. started to fade and to the point where it was gone last year, almost, almost invisible last year. How exciting. And especially you knowing the whole science, you can just extrapolate. That's also the repair on your heart, correct? In the cardiovascular system. That's exactly right. Yeah, very true. So um, one of the questions I think a number of us get um, is, you know, Dr. Tom, I just don't feel anything. Is this thing working? It works immediately, yes. Uh, again, that's why it's important to journal and stay in communication. And every once in a while, if you're on a call, you'll hear somebody share something and you'll you'll realize, oh, wow, I haven't had that crick in my neck. We, we forget. Right. Yeah. Uh, but yes, it's it's very important to wear it almost every day for the first 90 days. So yeah. three months, three to six months, um, it's it's working. And for some people, not necessarily goes to where you want it to work. Right. We've heard tons of beautiful miracle stories of pain reduction and people who couldn't stand from a seated position for many years because of. Yeah. disc compressions, et cetera, and all of this, who got their life back and who are running around the front yard gardening and the neighborhood is going, what, who, who is that person? Right. So sometimes it takes a little longer, um, but it's going to work in the place that is most mandated by the body, right? Where's the body suffering the most? That's where it goes to work. And then over time, we see more and more. Thank you. Because that's reassuring because, you know, as as David Schmidt says, you know, it's resetting DNA. And I know I didn't feel my DNA yesterday. So uh, sometimes you're like, does it work? But another question, especially you as a doctor, um, will get questions, you know, does it interfere with my medications? Should I stop my medications? What about the pain meds, you know? And um, we don't treat or diagnose or, you know, that sort of thing. But could you give us some guidance on that with people who are taking medications? Sure. So a lot of folks hear a patch and they want to know what's in it because there are a lot of transdermal technologies. Yeah. There's nothing actually in the patch that gets in the body. So the components of the nanoparticles in the patch that are reflective uh, are giving back to the body a signature that it's already creating, maybe not at a high enough volume, right? So we have the patch turns those particular signatures for whatever the whatever the part of the physiology is, turns those up. Um, so there are no contraindications uh, and it's, there, there's no biochemistry to inter, interfere with any of the medications. Now, it's prudent to tell your doctor you're starting because um, the body does end up having a better relationship with the medication. Let's put it that way, ah. right? And so over time, it's um, hopefully you'll stop having a relationship with that medication, but that's not something we can promise. But I like to, I like to say, don't, don't ask your doctor if you can take this because he or she is not going to know what it is. Say, you know what? I'm very excited about this. I've heard great stories, great success. And uh, here's where I want to be down the road. I've set my goals. And please take a very good look at me today. And biochemistry wise, blood work, uh, whatever you'd like to see. If if this is actually true, Doc, what would you like to see in six months that would blow you away? Right. Oh, that's a wonderful question. Could you repeat that? Sure. Well, yeah. What would if? So I'm talking to you, Janet. Hey, Doctor Janet. Um, I'm I, I I love this um, idea, and I can't believe that the planet doesn't know about it. I've, I've decided I'm going to step forward into this and I'd love for you to be my partner. Would you, and, and I know you've told me that this, my disease is going to progress, but I have a feeling now I might have a way out. And what would pop your eyes open if all of a sudden 
six months from now, I didn't have the stuff that you said was going to keep getting worse. That, right. I, I've definitely got to use that. That's a great question. Wonderful. Because I think a lot of us, you know, different people I've shared with say, well, you know, I want to, I want to share this with my doctor before I start. And I think a lot of the physicians are very versed in many, many things, but maybe not photobiomodulation. So is there a way that people might share it with their doctor that's a little easier for everybody? The easy way is to shock shock them. To, to, to get better, use the technologies, get better, love your life, and have the doc say, I've never seen this before. And we've got, you know, we're very fortunate that we have, I think Gregory actually shared a couple of weeks ago that we have the highest density of healthcare practitioners on this team of, of the entire company. Uh, Gregory, apologies if I'm misquoting that, but uh, that's that's the way to do it. Pop your doc's eyes open. Pop everybody else's eye, eyes in your life open too. <laughs> that's wonderful. And I know um, it was recommended to me starting, take a photo of your face because it probably will reflect the internal changes, which, you know, we do see some eye popping photos. That's for sure. Great. Well, as we wrap up, we want um, you to stay on. We're going to have people share their stories and would love to have your comments and maybe answer some of their questions. But is there anything else you'd like to share with the audience Maybe those are just starting tonight, kind of evaluating, you know, what's this thing about? What's kind of your words of wisdom there? I think asking questions. And if, um, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe, maybe a different wisdom will come out after we hear some stories, but everybody's looking for hope, as you said. Yeah. And if uh, if you don't have hope, that's a good sign. I've been dismantling my relationship with the word inflammation for many years. And inflammation is not a bad word. Inflammation is the body saying, hey, we need some help over here, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and the, the oh. platform, if you will, or the foundation of chronic disease is you you couldn't take care of the inflammation in the moment. And we don't want to have a zero inflamed. We want to be contacting life. We want to be engaged. We want to be, stress is not a bad word either. Stress is, okay, here's a novel, you know, here's a novel thing to entertain. And what if we really did have the physiologic and the mental capacity to meet those moments, right? Mm -hmm. And it's an easy, it's a hard conversation to have. It's it's easier to realize when you're with somebody who actually cares to hear your story um, that you want something different. And, and it's a challenge to be able to say, um, I can help you meet life easier, right? You don't walk up to a stranger on the street and say, hey, I, I heard you yelling at your wife. I can help you, right? I, I can I can make your life easier. But almost anybody in conversation uh, for a couple of minutes uh, will find something that, that they yeah. wish was different. If you could turn back the clock, where would you go? How, how would it be? And I like to ask people, too, when was the last time you felt great? Uh, right. Because uh, if you felt great once, you can feel great again. Oh, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. When is the last time you felt great? And hopefully that's our mission to increase those days. That's perfect. So we're going to shift a little bit here for those of you who are listening tonight. If you have a testimony or a question, but results you want to share, we're going to have you raise your hand uh, down. If you're on a computer or iPad, there's a little link that says you can reactions and you can raise your hand. And Gregory Muscari is going to um, not put you on camera, but allow you to talk. You can open your microphone. But um, if I may ask, uh, could you please raise your hand we'll, and we'll ask you to unmute, but be brief, be about 30 to 45 seconds. Just give us, you know, um, what was going on with you without disease names. Maybe just, you know, for me, I had these massive headaches that stopped my vision and my speech versus the clinical name. 
and tell us when you started using X39 and what happened in about 35, 40 seconds. Share your story because your stories are the hope Dr. Tom talks about. It's hearing those stories, you go, whoa, maybe I, like his point, maybe I can have some great days again. Your stories are really, really important. So Gregory is going to call on people who have their hands raised. And again, keep it brief, no um, disease names, but we'd love you to jump on board and share your story. And Dr. Schwamm, you're welcome to answer their questions or give your response also. So Gregory, who do we have on tap here? Uh, I it looks like Lavelle has got his hand up. So go ahead, Lavelle. Hey, hey, Gregory. Hey, Janet. Hey, Dr. T Tom. Um, I love that. So I actually want to share about one of our directors, Vilma Posadas. Uh, she's originally from the Philippines. She's a classical pianist, and she teaches piano online around the world. She has a student in Indonesia who had an autoimmune disease. Who had she was on she was she was on like twenty eight different medications. Right when I first met her on a Zoom. Didn't look well at all, but we got her on the products, got her on X39. We did get her on a, a couple of other products that we offer as well. But in about in a few months, she went from 28 medications. The doctor took her off about eight or nine medications in a few months. And then in a year's time, from 28 down to about 16 and in a few months, then she went down to only three medications. And now she looks great. She feels great, and it's just an amazing, amazing, I don't know, story. She just looks so good from the first time we met her, so that's what I wanted to share. So congratulations, Vilma, for helping out your friend and student in Indonesia. Gorgeous. Wonderful, Lavelle. Thank you that for your spirit, Lavelle. Great. Right. Thank you. Cheryl, bring it on. Hi, my name is Cheryl Edmond, and uh, I've been working with Dr. Tom since last August, and I had an autoimmune deficiency uh, discussion with his good friends in South Africa, and that's how I got started on the X39. And uh, fast forward to about three weeks ago, my uh, I always have to have my blood work checked about every three months or so, and my... Uh, Everything came back about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, all in the green. Every single blood, you know, way that they can test it came back in the green. And my platelets, which are pretty critical to life, if you will, uh, had always been in the tank about 80. They should be 140. So in this blood test, here it comes back. My platelets are 128 after eight months on the patch. Now, in four years, four and a half years, that has never happened. Yeah. So Dr. Tom was applauding, and, you know, he knows all of the intricacies around that. And I just know that I wouldn't be in the place where I am without that. Oh, that's so exciting. And I think you bring up a really good mm -hmm. point, Cheryl. Sometimes until we have tests or the blood tests, we don't really have the data even though, you know, people are like, are they really working? And now to hear your platelets rise that much, that's just extraordinary. Congratulations. Thank you. My my doctor was speechless. <laughs> Very great. That's Dr. beautiful, Tom, anything Cheryl. you want to add? Just she's, Cheryl is just a wonderful uh, light and not only stepped into her own well-being uh, in a very vocal way has shared with many, many, many others. And like Lavelle, when something good happens is celebrating. That's actually a big piece of our recovery. You know, don't don't keep it to yourself. When good stuff's happening, this planet's hungry for it right now. Uh, there's a question in the chat looking for direction for person who gets C lesions on head due to sun exposure. He has to have lesions cut out every three months after X39. What's next? So... I'm fond of saying that you can take out the cancer, but you haven't taken, you can take out the tumor, but you haven't taken out the cancer. You've taken out the evidence of the cancer. Um, that's just an aside. And you didn't hear that word here. Um, when you put the body back in place and it's everything we've been talking about all evening, it's lifestyle shift. It's good food. Um, 
and <clears throat> putting the body back into a place where it can recover in the moment from whatever the trauma is. And we don't want to stay out of the sun because we get good benefits from the sun, just like we get good benefits from these other phototherapies. Wide spectrum light is fantastic. Uh, and other 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 phototherapeutic techniques are fantastic as well. And um, get with the person who shared that with you and have them connect to one of the uh, nutritional practitioners. So I won't dive into it, but it's almost everybody with a chronic disease has a magnesium deficiency and other cations uh, issues, other mineral deficiencies. We actually have a very exciting product coming out in uh, later this year uh, that we don't know a lot about yet, but we've heard a bit of a teaser and a lot of what we all get by making good supplement choices will actually now possibly be available. And again, that doesn't take off the table, the need to eat well. Eat well, don't eat junk. Don't eat trans fats almost immediately. The very first thing anybody with any new diagnosis of anything should do is to eliminate the toxins in the body. And that means toxic food, your corn syrup, your glyphosate food. Uh, it's I know food's getting expensive these days, but it's important to buy organic and to eat real food. And uh, the first order of business to eating real food is just look around, make a list of all the fake food you eat. It's hard, right? And we're in a place where purging is mandatory. Um, and the other thing on the, on the purging front is that oncogenic change, uh, should be taken care of. Uh, the body is constantly cancering. I stole that from somebody over the weekend. We're always cancering. It's not wrong. The body makes mistakes. Every, every cellular replication, uh, is not perfect. And the body properly recognizes that. And so when 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 we're in metabolic competence and we're in and we have good lymphatic flow and we can actually let go of the half a trillion cells we make every year every day uh then we can create half a trillion cells there's no mandate to the body unless you take out the trash so it's very important to stay very well hydrated uh movement's important right uh the lymphatic system doesn't have a pump it's important to move and stretch range of motion is is important uh, and, and exercise and and the good stuff happens and then tell somebody about it. Oh, Dr. Tom, you just keep giving out these great one-liners <laughs> like bumper stickers and we got to get the transcript. <laughs> it's great. You know, we're cancering, but we're going past it. Need happy food. I love this. It's great. Thank you. Uh, Gregory, who else do we have their hand up? It looks like Allie Berman is next. Allie, are you there? I'm here, yes. Uh, 12 years ago, I had some brain surgery, and when the tumor was removed, key nerves were in it, like for controlling your breathing and your heart rate and your speech. And I'd been looking for stem cells, and I just found them yeah. right around the time. I just think he wears. Hmm? Go ahead, Alex. So I, I was really grateful when I found them, and I got in just when X49 was also there. And between the 39 and the 49, the paralysis that had half my face, I couldn't do anything with it, was gone. I got back my speech. My body is clearly regenerating nerves that I've lost and I have functioning that the neurosurgeon said I would never have. I love, love, love your story, Allie. It's, and it's only gonna get better. That's beautiful. <laughs> So the company had a series of technologies and we're celebrating 20 years this year. Uh, we were 15 years of beautiful, wonderful, life-changing technologies before X39 came out. And then uh, five years ago, X39 came out. That was the first stem cell patch that upregulates GHK. And the other patch that Ali mentioned is, called, is the sister patch, which came out the following year uh, called X49, which upregulates a, a different copper peptide AHK copper peptide, which also is a stem cell instigator. So we call those two our stem cell patches. And it does, it gets better and better. And X49 is fantastic for brain health and muscle, not the least of which is the heart and bone, the our established structures. Yeah. So and 39 and 49 together, we call it our performance bundle. 
uh, almost everybody, if they stick around long enough, realizes, wow, those two together are, that's, that's the Holy Grail. Oh, could, well, well said. And if I may add, for a number of us women past menopause and loss of estrogen, I've had a number of people, uh, women especially, who tested again, bone strength has come back, their frac scores for fracture went down. And that's really exciting, especially as you get older, because falling can really it almost end your life for people over 60. Very true. Thank you, Dr. Tom. Uh, Gregory, who else do we have? Oh, I was muted. We, it looks like we have Madeline that's next. Thank yes. you. Um, yep. Um, hi. Uh, I uh, just signed up a new brand partner not long ago, and I've just been with uh, the company a few months myself. But she sent me a text the other day, and I just wanted to um, uh, say that what that says. Um, she had put patch on herself, but she also wanted her husband to um, wear the patch. And this is what she said. I wanted him to wear the patch because he has had a terrible problem with one of his eyes, always tearing up, pain on and off, goofy, and he always is wiping it. Well, by day two, his pain was gone and only had to wipe his eye once. By day three, there was no goop at all and hasn't had to wipe his eye at all. So pretty incredible. Just after a few days, uh, his eyes were so good. Really great. Thank you, Madeline. <clears throat> there's a, there's a, in the text. Yeah, good. Casey got his hand up. Go ahead, Casey. So those people who live in the South are familiar with fire ants. Some <laughs> people in the North are not. I, I was uh, getting ready for a storm last night and I noticed a big pile of dirt next to my house. And I thought, hmm, I wonder what that is. And I took a broom to try to sweep it away. That was not a good idea. The ant came after me with a vengeance, got both of my feet. Within minutes, my feet were bitten to pieces and I was red and swollen and running around like a nutcase trying to get them off of me. And then I thought, I got to get them off. I've got to get inside the house and put some patches on because this is not a good thing. So I put uh, Ice Wave on the bottom of my feet, Ian on the top of my feet. And within about, I'd say 20 minutes, I was, the inflammation was really down and the pain was subsided. But those little boogers, they got me. <laughs> and there's a reason for everything. So thank you for putting yourself in harm's way so that you could be the messenger of good news. Yeah. <laughs> and I found out when I did some research, how does one get rid of those? And the, the guy said, do not take <laughs> a broom to sweep them away. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's time to transform our language of uh, us versus them. They, <laughs> they deserve to be here and we're not going to get rid of them. Right. Oh, Casey, we're glad you're feeling better. Those are tough. I agree. Um, okay, Rosemary. Rose is next. Rosemary, there you go. Hi, thank you. Dr. Tom, I'm the one that posted the, que uh, the question earlier about the person who has the lesions. Uh, what I, He does everything that you suggested, which I appreciate the depth that you spoke to. Um, he does all of those things now, but he was uh, on an exterminating business the last 20 years of his uh, before he retired. Plus his mother had very bad problems with this, uh, the big C with her skin. And so I'm trying to say if he does X39, then what steps like that, if he's doing all the healthy things already, like what's the next patch? You know, I don't know which, where to take him on this, it's the second or th third patch as far as to which ones to use. Well, so we talk about good, better, best. Um, I would use, uh, if he's if he wants the better option, X39 and X49 together. So the performance bundle will optimize the regenerative capacity, right? Um, I personally am a huge fan of SP6. It's one of my favorite, <laughs> favorite technologies. And like so many of the patches- Pardon me, Dr. Tom, may I interrupt just for you to clarify, because some people who may be new with us tonight doesn't 
don't know what SP6 is. Right. I'm going to I'm going to mention it. Thank you. Uh, if you look on the back office, it it talks about cravings. Um, it's fantastic for everything that is the sequela that everything that's the result of having put your microbiome back together where you can use fat as a fuel source is so that the body has a ketogenic capacity and every one of those half trillion cells that we make every 24 hours uh, needs bioavailable lipids so it's it's very very important for uh for anybody uh to have real good omegas and the fat soluble lipids as well uh, which are your vitamin A, your vitamin D, your vitamin K, your vitamin E. And SP6 gives a competence. As I mentioned earlier, it's that same dynamic. It doesn't take off the table the need to make the changes, but it does put the body in a place where it you trick the body, you give it the gift of being able to perform the way it would have performed 18 months from now had you eaten perfectly and supplemented perfectly. Wow. And it's fantastic for hormone balance as well. Uh, folk, m women going through their, their time of change and women who are nowhere close to their time of change, but unfortunately have found a rhythm that's not what they're used to, right? And we've seen a lot of that in recent years. And SP6 is great for that as well. That's exciting. I appreciate yeah. your depth on that. I didn't realize that with the lipids in the balance. Thank you. And Allie mentioned Eon earlier too. That would be a good a good choice uh, for him as well, Rose. Uh, Eon, before X39 came along, Eon was the company's top selling technology. It was, it's, a, it's fantastic for total body inflammatory management. And we don't often talk a lot about it, but everything that starts with neuro... Uh, is great. So if you know somebody who's got something that's and they're plagued with something that starts with neuro, uh, Eon's fantastic for that as well. And it puts the body in a place where it digests food better as well. So our auto, auto, autonomic nervous system is nice and balanced. And we've got two more hands up and then we'll kind of wrap this call up. And that next person is Effie Brown. Effie, you're going to have to unmute yourself. Effie on the... Is that better? Oh, mm -hmm. can you hear? Yeah. Um, I have a grand who has one. It's just here, so... We're having trouble hearing you guys. Yeah, Effie, I'm um, sorry, your connection's oh, not okay. working. Okay, you hear me? Oh, okay. It's not a volume thing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get to you tonight. I see a uh, question in the chat from Pamela. Yeah, is it okay to wear SP6 daily? Yes. Um, it's not one that you really need to wear daily. If you wear it a few times a week, that's a it's a really nice bonus. Um, really? It's very important to wear X39 almost every day. And then plus or minus a lot of the other technologies. Great. Thank you, Dr. Tom. Sure uh, anyone else, Gregory? Yeah, there is. Effie, you want to try one more time? Otherwise, we'll move on. Okay. Can you hear me now? It's still breaking up. Go ahead and try, but it's still kind of breaking up. You must be in a low cell service area. Yeah, it's a bad place, and the weather's bad here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yes. Can you hear me now? Um, my husband want to explain to you about my group to talk about loud thing. I have a, can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I have a granddaughter. Yeah, I have a granddaughter type one uh, diabetes. And I understand that's an autoimmune thing. Um, and I was wondering, as a church, where and who had with come in for something fast. you know effie i'm just going to jump in this gregory we're not allowed to to uh, to address specific diseases oh. on this call so um mm -hmm. so and, and we're still having a hard time hearing you so i'm sorry to apologize we're going to have to move on to our last guest which is jonathan beal so uh jonathan i'm going to allow you to talk go ahead please 
Oh, great, great. Thank you so much, Gregory. Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes, thanks, John. Okay, I'm going to say it real quick. I had a, uh, you know, children, I have a five-year-old. Um, they get this uh, eye, eye discoloration and itchy thing. And uh, for some reason, my son didn't get it, but I did. So I stacked a glutathione on an Eon, put it on my third eye and slept through the night. And the next day it was gone. <laughs> nice. So, so real quick, Dr. Tom, I got a real quick question. Uh, someone who has old eyesight going bad and they have sugar problems. What patches would they use for that, please, sir? Well, it's again, it's bio individual, and we, you know, you you hold their hand and walk as they go as they go. Yes, um, sir. SP six is fantastic for sugar cravings. That's what we're allowed to say. And yes. X thirty nine is incredibly important, and the long game is uh, is is really the fun game. You know, it's it's one thing to give people immediate relief, and it's very rewarding. And it gets better and better. So give it six months to a year. That disease has been, you know, that that condition has been around for a long time. And it didn't get there overnight, as Robin says. And um, the guideline that she uses brilliantly is for every decade of life old you are, give the patches a month. So if you're 70, uh, give it seven months. And there's probably a part two to that as well. If, if, you were very recently in good shape. That's probably true. If you've had the thing that you're suffering with for a long time, you might even want to add the year, the that same dynamic again, right? Because uh, modern medicine has turned us off enough. It's time to get turned on, yeah? Amen. Yeah. Thank well, you, sir. Sure thing. Before we go, uh, I saw someone... Put in the chat, Dr. Tom, about is it all right to wear X39 at night? Sure. Some people love it at night. Um, we like to suggest, you know, not not the first week that you're using the technology, wear it during the day just so you're aware. And that's always that's always nice uh to see. But yes, there are plenty of beautiful combinations for sleep. We actually have a sleep technology called silent silent nights. But a lot of the other patches uh, help for sleep because a body that's in good shape knows how to sleep and doesn't have problems falling asleep. Most of the time, sleep issues are because there's something that's correctable that's being asked to be corrected, right? Well, Dr. Tom, you have, one, pitched hit beautifully tonight. I think you've given everybody a lot of hope, a lot of wisdom, a lot of great one-liners, and uh truly some guidance of what to do. And we can't thank you enough. You really stepped up here and, and your words of wisdom. I'm watching the chat. Everybody's loving. So thank you everybody who listened in tonight for taking the time to learn about this special company, our amazing technology. And if you're a guest, get back with the person who invited you, get your questions answered, do a little research if is that what you'd like to do. But we really, we want you to join us in this age reversal journey. We want you to join us in helping to give Dr. Tom's hope to all the other people we know worldwide that need this, right? So do know we have several customer programs for you. And, but if you love sharing this with people, the company has a really generous program for what we call our brand partners that we're able to share it. And the company helps us get our patches paid for. And then lastly, since you're on tonight, all almost 200 of you, please join us next Tuesday night because we have another wonderful practitioner like Dr. Tom and bring your friends, invite your family. Sometimes it's hard for your family to hear it from you, but they love hearing it from the doctors and the practitioners. That's for sure. So Dr. Tom, thank you so much. You were just brilliant tonight as always. And uh, I know you've changed some lives. And thank you, Gregory, for managing this. Thank you for everybody who shared your story and all the little hearts coming up. And we hope to see you soon. And we'll say good night. Yeah, here's the hearts coming up. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. Thank and you, Jim. Remember, eat happy food. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Tom. Take sure. care, everyone.